the disseminated sulfide was, was one of the reasons one gets in there to actually explore. It's the indication. It's the halo, potentially, around a system. If you take systems like the Eastern Deeps at Voices Bay, there's a thick system of disseminated sulfide, perhaps 500 meters thick, that wraps around the massive sulfides. Um, that disseminated sulfide is almost a vector in towards the core of the system where the, where the higher grade mineralization resides. Other systems as well have these disseminated sulfides that typically wrap around or have geometric relationships with the, uh, with the higher grade mineralization. If this intrusion was bereft of any significant disseminated sulfide, it wouldn't be very interesting. And the fact we're drilling through a hundred and something, 170 meters of disseminated sulfide, um, that to me is very, very good news. It points to the, um, the exploration potential of this at depth. So really it's, um, it's a matter of keeping on going and trying to, trying to find more of the massive stuff. That's the stuff that re really brings the, the most value into this. But ultimately perhaps some of this disseminated sulfide will also come into play. And again, the grade of this disseminated mineralization, this disseminated halo, compares favorably with what you've seen yeah. in other deposits. Yeah, the, the concentrations of metal in 100% sulfide are quite high. They're of anything between 4 and probably around about 8 or 9% um, nickel in, in the sulfide component of the rock. So they're very a very high quality disseminated style of mineralization.